I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> what? Hey guys, it's your best fight friends again. And oh my gosh. Hold on, this is about Javante Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. Rachel, we talked about this before the thing, and it turns out we were both right. <laughs> right? I mean, we're both right. What was I right about? I made, I had nothing. I, I thought that I Leo didn't Santa know how to feel about the fight. <laughs> you said that it would be a, like a close fight, and I think that for, it was for six rounds. Yeah. I thought Santa, I thought Davis would, would run through him and knock him out. I even picked him for Bleach Report that he would knock him out in the sixth round. But I thought he would blow right through him. He didn't blow right through him. There was a lot of resistance. Leo Santa Cruz put up a great fight, well, which you said he would do. I just want to talk about, like, that knockout. Like, I mean, I think you and I, sitting on a couch, both just yelled. Like, that's all we could do in response. Because it was a spectacular, like knockout you know like i couldn't and it was scary i'm glad that leo santa cruz was up walking around like talking it was i mean just you had this back and forth fight and then that knockout so uh props to tank davis props for tank davis landing that and and yeah so wow. back to what you were saying I wasn't sure. Once I beat down competitive fight, I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. And when I went out into the boxing Man. world, other people weren't sure either. We got a you competitive should. fight. When Leo Santa Cruz came out there round one, I was like, he is smiling. He looks a little chippy, energized. And I was like, he, he looks like the bigger fighter. <laughs> Like, so they were talking about how Leo but put he, on some muscle and stuff. He did put on muscle. He looked I thought that, really good, just that. I mean, Gosh. yeah, I love the heart, the enthusiasm, the skill that Santa Cruz showed. It's just that I thought going into it that Tank Davis is, like, the, the thing, the next big thing. And I think that he at least took a step in showing that maybe he is the next big thing in boxing, meaning that next big superstar, because yeah. he, he did. What a tremendous... Thunderous knockout punch. Oh my gosh. I, even Conor McGregor was tweeting about it after. <laughs> That's how great a knockout it was. UFC superstar Conor McGregor. Well, and Davis looked like when the fight started, I was kind of concerned. Some people also saw him at the press conference before this and they were kind of concerned. Uh, when I saw him at the beginning of the fight, he looked a little unsure, a little shaky, a little like taken aback by what uh, Leo was bringing like his way, that maybe this was going to be a little bit different. But hearing him just now in his post-fight interview, uh, he talked about how he was kind of cold coming in the fight. He didn't warm up maybe as much as uh, yeah. he could have. And then, but he talked like skillfully yeah, he was yeah, like yeah. you know Nobody. here's what happened in the ring and that spe specifically with that knockout he knew that leo santa cruz was like throws punches and he said leo doesn't get out of the way after he throws punches so he's going to be there for the uppercut and that the corner and the ropes was right behind him so leo didn't have anywhere to go so he was he knew that that was all right there for him and that that is definitely some skill can we talk about the biggest fight that needs to be made right now in boxing make it happen right now floyd you need to call bob Barham, your old promoter and say look we want Javante davis versus tapimo lopez Gosh. He'll never make that fight. Please make that fight happen. At you know what? Like, I don't know who wins that fight. People, like, can we go into a new age in boxing where we don't have to wait yeah. years to make these fights? Like, Sugar Ray Lopez Leonard and Thomas Hearns would have fought each other already. Took the Lomachenko fight early. Like, this is, and he was like, you know what? This is what I do. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to wait. I would, yeah, like, let's do this. I mean, how long let's have we been it. waiting on, like, Crawford Spence? We never you know got I mean? Sir, <laughs> Sergey Kovalev versus Adonis Stevenson. Right, like, there that are might never so happen. many things. Let's just do it, guys. Let's just do it. So, yeah, I'm all for that. Um, props to Tank Davis. I will say that I have, I think I've seen, I've been from the beginning of his professional career. Leo Santa Cruz? Leo Santa Yeah, Cruz. yeah. You were, before so, like, he kind of burst in the scene, it was sad to see him get little, knocked out. A little, like, space Especially in my heart. Especially because it was pretty, like, It was like devastating. a devastating <laughs> knockout. Also, Leo Santa Cruz has the kind of personality that I, I warm up to. Mm. It's really easy for me to be high on Leo Santa Cruz. You know, Javante Davis, he's kind of winning me over. This was a great... A great fight for Javante Davis coming up and making a name for himself because this was a tough fight for him. Yeah, I'm big on Javante Davis and I'm really happy and excited for him. Congratulations, Tank Davis! Hey, and congratulations to you. Sticking with Real Talk with Kelsey and Rachel on this I... combat sport packed 
Saturday. Bonanza. <laughs> Welcome to Bonanza.